Hello there, this is Dirge Birch from Pokemon News, and uh, today there was a, an interesting piece of news um, that doesn't pertain to a main franchise or spin-off of the Pokemon series, but it does pertain to another large uh, Nintendo franchise that contains the Pokemon series, and that happens to be Super Smash Bros. Now, Masahiro Sakurai, the head developer of the game, uh, he, he, last week or a couple weeks ago, uh, there, he posted onto the Miiverse a screenshot of a, of a stage in Lumio City. And in that stage, uh, the, you, he said that you were fighting on top of Prism, uh, that the characters were fighting on top of Prism Tower. Uh, just before he took that screenshot, it happened to be at night. And now we have a better idea of how that stage works due to today's screenshots. Now, he's continuing with this trend of the uh, no outlines uh, on the 3DS version right now, just to kind of give people an idea of how that looks on more of the characters than just Link and Mario, and also on a full screen instead of a half. Now, as you can see in this uh, picture, which is uh, quite uh, early into the stage, I would say, I mean, the characters seem to be symmetrically placed at the time, uh, so they have probably literally just got into the fight and one thing you'll notice uh, immediately about the background is that there are two TV screens above those doorways that contain ads that were from Lumio City in Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Uh, another d interesting detail, it's not like Pokemon X and Pokemon Y how you would just kind of go into this open area that was an, like that was underneath the archway it actually is some doors there with some steps. Uh, so there's a slight bit of a change to how it actually looked, but it does look a little more realistic uh, for a gym. Uh, and a couple of other things uh, that I want to mention, they have some balconies like the show had, I believe, um, and some of the gym logos, as you would expect around any gym. Now, there's one ad in like just just to show you a little bit more about the how the ads are actually in it. This screenshot here is from uh, one of the trailers for Pokemon X and Y, and you can see an earlier stage of that pink um, that pink ad that was on the left, um, and that character that silhouette you'll see there slides to the right, and then it says something, and uh, I'm guessing there's a flash of some sort not involved in that. I haven't been in Lumios for a while. But uh, continuing on with it, uh, Sakurai mentions that you will have to continue to climb up the tower and those will basically be your solid ground uh, places that you'll be at. Uh, this might work like a couple of the stages for Melee, like Poke Floats and uh, Big Blue, how it kind of scrolls to the side. The, this one will probably scroll downwards into the side because you're ascending at that time. So you'll have to continue to jump up and to the right to continue to maintain uh, the fact that you're on the screen because the camera will not be dependent on where you are. Now, there's another small thing here. I don't know if there's glass reflecting a cloud or the cloud is visible behind the bars. I want to say it's glass reflecting clouds because uh, those clouds that you see on um, the center of the tower are a little lighter uh, in color than the ones in the background and they're a little more more uh, shiny so there's probably like that's the light source or something nearby but uh, not much really other than that in this uh, specific uh, screenshot moving on we have uh, this one that takes place during sunset they're finally at the top of the tower and there are these two platforms that I don't know if it's just because they're higher or if they're actually in the background. Um, but you may end up having that uh, that platform that they're on slide back. I don't know. They might stop there for a little while. They might actually have to continue on by jumping up onto one of those platforms and it will go away and back around and that's how it will get to the nighttime part. Or you'll just be up there and continue to fight without going back down. And then there's even the possibility that that platform will just uh, slowly drop down with the camera and you will descend similarly to how you ascended. Or there's the possibility that it will just go down like an elevator. 
but it's hard to say whether or not those platforms with the yellow and black stripes on the out on the outside uh, are actually in the background or are just it's kind of a perspective thing how they're higher than you and it looks like they're in the background um, I have no idea whether or not it is actually going to like if it's actually in the foreground at the time where you're fighting um, so don't question me on that but you know the stage all in all looks to be quite interesting uh, I mean it's a big change um, from Melee and Brawl how they just had two different uh, Pokemon Stadium levels that had very little special things and then there was Poke Floats and Spear Pillar Spear Pillar was okay but the uh, the way Dialga and Palkia and uh, Cresselia affected the battlefield was sometimes a little too dramatic, um, in my opinion. Like, it, it was just, I don't know, it, it, they, they did too much. Like, the slowing of time and the flipping of the battlefield or controls and things like that, that would be fine alone, but having things like Spatial Rend and the Roar of Time go off was a little bit irritating. Uh, so... I'm sure this level will have some quirk other than just going up and down, but uh, it's kind of made me notice something interesting about the Smash Brothers uh, stages on the 3DS as opposed to the Wii U. A lot of the 3DS ones seem to be very changing and um, dynamic, like the Super Mario 3D Land stage, um, the Nintendog stage even appears to be... Uh, somewhat dynamic because they keep showing the blocks in different places and so it, it might get like the dog might run through or uh, the stage might just change or it might be different every time you go in there's some way to uh, like there's some way that they just kind of make the stage unique um, and then when it comes to the Wii U we have a lot of the stages that just kind of they all have their own gimmicks and uh, special things about them, but they don't seem to be nearly as dynamic as the ones on the 3DS. Like, uh, how you have that Super Mario Galaxy one, where as far as we know, there's just platforms and the planet's gravity effects. Um, and, th like, uh, th that's really all they've shown us about that. And so, there's a lot more, uh, traveling stages by the looks of it that are going to be on the 3DS. Now, it could just be that they haven't shown us, uh, any of the traveling stages for the Wii U. Um... And that they might someday show them, but that's never guaranteed. So I, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this news, and I hope you love Disc. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Google+, where we post behind-the-scenes things, funny pictures, and more. We hope to see you there.